Yo, what is going on? Pee pees, poo poos. How are y'all doing? <laughs> it's <laughs> welcome back to episode eight of Imbecile Conversations. It's been a while. Uh, we've gone out of Greenland right now. We're we're actually driving. Da Derek is driving us to a bar right now. Um, yep. Yeah, Dank, Dank was supposed to be with us in the car, but he's he says he might run a bit late, uh, since apparently there's no space in this fucking Mini Cooper that we have, and, uh, yeah, it's whatever. I don't know, I offered him, and he just like, nah, fuck that. Nah, fuck that. But the people we did manage to somehow fit into the back of this car are Pascal. Help me. I'm in the back, <laughs> I'm in the trunk. <laughs> I'm in the... Help me! <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and then we have Jimmy. Sorry, he's just playing on the switch. He's just really distracted. Jimmy! What? Yes? Fucking introduce yourself. We're recording. Hey, I'm Jimmy. I'm playing on the switch. Yes, he is. It's, it's, he's, he's gone really addicted to his switch. It's fucked. Right, uh... Yes. I don't know what else to say. Should we go to our sponsors? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit until we arrive at the bar. Uh, but we'll, we'll, well, come... well, well, while we're doing the car ride, uh, allow me to show you our sponsor. <laughs> yes, allow us to show you the people who somehow sponsor our, uh, bullshit. So, uh, yes. This episode of Imbecilic Conversations is sponsored by, well, the uh, service that is providing the podcast to you right now, Anchor. Now let me tell you, when I heard about Anchor, I thought it was too good to be true. But uh, after a little while of using it for this specific podcast, uh, yeah, it's a really lovely platform. Anchor makes it easy for you to make your own podcast for free, let me tell you. That is right, it is completely free for you to use. You can sign up with an account and you can make whatever podcast you desire. It doesn't matter if you have professional tools or not, because if you don't, Anchor provides their own custom tools that you can use to record and edit your podcast right from your computer or even your phone. Yes, they have their own app even. None other than that, free of charge, they will distribute your podcast to multiple platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Radio Public, Breaker, multiple places. It's insane that they can provide us for free while there are other services out there that you have to pay loads of money and it's limited while well, this is free. That's insane. And it's not just that, you can make money from your podcast either from sponsorships like this one or listener support. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one single place and goddamn I love it so much. Now, if this has intrigued you to make your own podcast, you can download the free Anchor app either on Apple or Android, or you can go to anchor.fm to get started. That is anchor.fm as an FM radio, or you can download the free Anchor app available on Apple and Android. Thank you very much, Anchor, for sponsoring this episode. Took longer than it had to be. You, is your butt comfy? Fucking, have, you've been sitting for a while. Uh, I'm used to sitting down for long periods of time, anyway. Uh, so. I mean, so am I. I drive a fucking thing that goes like 55 kilometers max, which is. Not I hope a lot. the audience really? enjoyed it. I hope the audience enjoyed that sponsor because I wasn't able to play my Switch since they were looking at it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> fucking, you need to stop playing on your Switch so damn consistently, man. That's how you get. Like lazy and shit. I'm not getting lazy. I, mm -hmm. It's the only way that I can do some potential free time. Okay, it's the only thing that entertains me. That, that's what everyone says. Like it, I mean, yeah, you exactly. can't have it if it's true. Yeah, exactly. It, it's what I mean. That's what everyone says. You have a switch. You know it's true. Yeah, yeah. I, I take breaks, bro. Yeah, you take yeah, breaks. You, but just you live music. in beautiful. But you live in beautiful as fuck, Sweden. You have a lots of things. That, uh, that you could do. I live in a trailer uh, park. That's that, boring. That's fair. That's fair. He, he that, eats that's... meatballs 24 7. What do you want from me? Well, yeah, exactly. Again, that is true. Start, once His this whole brain thing is just goes, one, like, start hanging out one again, ginormous. Jimmy, just, like, fucking drive you other places. Yeah. Uh, he, what, what were you saying, Derek? Because fucking Pascal was talking over. He said, he, he, said that, uh, he said that once quarantine's over, we can start hanging out again. He can drive me places and shit. Hell yeah. yeah. All right, let's head to the uh, bartender, I guess. I guess so. Yeah. All right. Ooh, I'm tired. 
fucking. I mean, it's, it's good to walk. But uh, hello, is this? How are you this... tired, Derek? Than the one that's driving. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, hello, <laughs> is can we? We would like to make an order. Uh, I would like. I, I would like uh, some tea, please, Carl. And that's uh, me. Can you hook me up with one of these? That's, oh yeah, is that your like little pill thing? Just say you want orange juice. <laughs> it's a li it's a li it's a liquid, not a peel. <laughs> It's used to make water full of flavor. <laughs> exactly. Just ask for orange juice, man. They they don't have your tablet bullshit, bro. They have they it's have fucking liquid, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Ah! What's that kind of weird fucking <laughs> shit? Oh, it See? actually is. It's fucking liquid. Yeah, either way, yeah, they... it's actually a liquid, bro. But, okay, 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 Miss Mr. Matt. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> Mr. Bartender, Coral. Joel, whatever your name is. What? Well, okay. <laughs> do, do you have? Do, do, Joel's sh not shut, streaming. He works part time. Shut the fuck shut up. In the fuck. Do you have shut orange? Do you have orange juice? Yes, okay, he does. Whatever he, works. He, whatever he's doing. Works. He's doing a fucking thumbs up. Yes, yes. He he has orange juice. So, okay. So, Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy wants orange juice. Uh, what what type of? No, I don't. Sorry, Do sorry. Not sting sorry, I, I got. I, I sorry, sorry. My fuse is still going. Uh, Derek, you want orange juice. Uh, Jimmy, you want you want tea, right? What type of tea? Ice tea, yeah. Ice, ice, sweet tea. Sweet tea. Okay. Pascal, what do you want? Nothing. Not just water. He wants beer. Dry. <laughs> I just want a glass. I will eat the glass. I will eat the shattered fucking glass. Yeah, I, I will die and... with intestine blood. Okay, okay, he says yes. You don't have to freak him out, man. Jesus. And uh, I'll take some Yudmust, if you had that, because I see you had that on the menu. Yeah, good. Hmm. It's basically... Oh, this is, this is the uh, all-culture bar. Yeah, nice. yeah, it's all-culture, if you don't know. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's exactly... Oh, what I should have got some Coquito. Shit. Uh, uh, I mean, you uh, can still order if you, you want. You can to order. Work. You can order. Uh, I guess in that case, make that orange juice a coquito. Coquito. Yeah, he's got it. <laughs> yeah, you got it. So, uh, mm. how much will that be? Yeah, hold on. Okay, okay. He he put together the money. Okay, oh, wait, you're calculating. Oh, fifty dollars. Okay. Oh, sure. Uh, right. yeah. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Nice. Anyway, okay, swipe, so okay, swipe the card. Uh, but while we wait for our, while we wait on our drinks, uh, is it time for to get on to the questions? I would assume I so. Better, yeah. So let's move on to question time. Right. So we're on to question time then. So let's start with question number one. What is your favorite part about Christmas? Since we are recording this on December fourth. <laughs> Ooh. What what is our favorite part on Christmas? Yeah, about Christmas. <laughs> I, I love your favorite part about Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Oh. Mm. oh yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, favorite favorite part. Of sorry, Christmas. sorry, Christmas. sorry. I just got a bottle of uh, apple apple tea and julmust, sugar free. Hmm. Apple tea. Apple tea. Which yeah, which if you didn't know in Sweden, it's basically a tradition to just drink must. Uh, so that's oh nice. yeah, because I think you told me about that last month. Yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. In any in any case, in any case. In any case. Uh, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite, I'm a unnecessary stutter on my part. That's fine. My that's favorite, fine. um, my, my favorite part on Christmas is um, I'm kind of stuck because it's such a, it's such a joyous. Oh yeah, we should probably start saying Xmas for all those people who don't believe in religion. But whatever. Uh, whatever. It's whatever. We we we, so, we care about religions, okay. but like we're 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 talking about the one that is like biggest right now. But Xmas, yeah. Xmas, yeah. Xmas for those for those of you who don't celebrate Christmas, celebrate whatever. It's fine. Yes. Uh, Very much. <laughs> List off the holidays similar to Christmas, but I don't want to butcher it <laughs> and get Hanukkah. Let's see, yeah, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. <laughs> I actually don't an know anymore. <laughs> yeah, anyway. It's fine. Uh, so Celebrate whatever. My favorite, my favorite part of Christmas. I honestly like the... So, obviously, the usual answer is... Presents! I love snow! Yes. And all that shit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I think my favorite part about Christmas is probably... And this is going to sound cheesy as fuck, but... It's probably the amount of joy that is shared on that holiday. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, it's probably one of... The, I think I'd argue it's one of the best holidays, like, out of the entire year. 
Yeah, because like, like Halloween's fun as hell. Oh, because of all the costumes you get to see and all the candy you get, yeah. and then Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is fun because you, you get to spend time with family and eat a lot of good food. Exactly. Yeah, it's 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 a fucking treat. Yeah. For Christmas, I say, it's the I, I'd say it's the joy that everyone shares on that holiday, and also you get an added bonus of presents. Yeah. Well, as like, me, lads. holy jeez, Dank, who the fuck? fuck? Wait, why do you look different, Dank? Why do you look different? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Carl, give me a death wish. <laughs> uh, okay, so so his name. I think that's one Bloody Carl. Mary coming right up, Dank. Oh, uh, 99% vodka. Holy fuck. That that is wow. that is a big bottle of vodka. Okay. Uh, and apparently has a. You cool. know that's actually Don't not fucking shuck it, Jesus <laughs> Christ! That's uh, like that's. Uh, you're gonna get fucking drunk quick, bro. She did you? Heartburn and I think that's his goal. Goal. second. Fuck yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I, I, Do you honestly expect I'm gonna be getting drunk from this puny ass bottle? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's Maybe. it's literally like two liters, bro. What the fuck do you mean, puny? What 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 scale do you work with? I'm pretty sure oh, well. this dude could probably chug four of those and just get slightly tipsy. Uh, I mean, fucking. Uh, he's literally so. he's literally neighbors with Russia. I, I probably wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Good point. By the way, uh, about that death wish, you said it was 99% vodka. There is yes. actually an alcohol. There, there's an actual, I forget the name, but there's an actual alcohol that's like 99 or 95% alcoholic. Doesn't that surprise that me. would legitimately kill you. Yeah. Mm. Oh, legitimately. Yeah. Yeah, if you drink right. a whole bottle. Yeah, probably. Unless they like it's spike it with vodka, poison. But, uh, I mean, it is, I mean, it in, is. It, I think it, a shot it, of that would like agree to like. I mean, yeah, in, in, like, in, in blood alcohol content yeah, zero point zero eight. Yeah, I think in in Sweden, especially even around Christmas, we have a thing called schnapps, uh, which you may or may not know about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, schnapps, which is basically it's just, uh, it's 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 like, it's like you take a shot of it because it has a shit ton of alcohol. Um, but yeah, you get, yeah, it's a, it's a tradition. Speaking of Christmas, did anyone else notice that it's tradition for for at least. It's tradition for at least Americans. I don't know about other people, but has it has anyone else noticed that for some reason Christmas is linked to the most people getting drunk? Uh, no, really? that doesn't really. I mean, that should be fucking expected. Yeah, uh, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, fucking, <laughs> I just I just don't see we, that's the thing. Living with all the wine ills. I mean, yeah, but fucking, no, they, it, it, no, they it, like get hard. They like get hard drunk. Yeah, I, I mean, especially in Sweden, wow. like it's a tradition. As I said with Schnapp, you get someone's <laughs> going to get. Fucking pissed drunk at like. So just gonna get shit face wasted. Oh yeah, no, no. I don't care. know why, but it's like, like it's tradition almost everywhere. <laughs> at least for people that celebrate specifically Christmas or Xmas. Whatever, right. Yeah. Uh, to get just drunk. Wait, wait, wait. Wow. Mm. What is the thing? Hold on, I'm getting a fucking call on my M MDT. I need to quickly take this. Okay. Okay. Multi-dimensional right. tablet for people who don't know. Right. <clears throat> God damn it. Right as I'm on fucking break, I need to take some calls. Yeah. Be right back. Right. Tell Satan I said hi. <laughs> Tell who? Tell Satan I said <laughs> hi. I think. I don't know. But he, he's gone to the corner of the fucking room. Um, but uh, I guess I guess uh, what is what is what is my favorite? What is your? I because Derek answered no. No, I didn't. No, what is your favorite? Part? Yeah, what is your favorite part of Christmas? It, it, was, it was mine. Yeah, sorry. It's been a it while since we've recorded a podcast. It's it, we're a bit, we're still trying to get get used to this again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, Derek. Uh, I'm turning the top nook. I'll be honest. My favorite part about Christmas usually ends up coming from the holiday music that usually plays on the radio because some of the classic songs and a few of the modern ones, some of them are actually really good. So pretty much, uh, so pretty much, other than rock songs and only a select few other songs from other genres, Christmas music is probably by far one of my favorites. Right. That is ironic oh, yeah. that that's your favorite, considering it, that everyone hate that everyone doesn't like that part about Christmas because it's always the same song looped over and over and over and over. I don't mind oh, it honestly. I, I honestly don't mind it. Right. I also don't mind. I mean, it. yeah, as long as it's that, not like, too. As the long majority as it, of people 
I'm yeah. just saying, I also don't mind it, but the majority of people don't like Christmas specifically for the songs that just loop. I mean, I can't blame them. I can't blame them. Like, if, if, I mean, don't fucking go like ham, because that's what radio stations do. They go yeah. ham on a Christmas song because that gets them profit. But fuck it. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, as long as it's like done like in moderation, it's fine. Yeah. But it's just I love the Christmas music. Yeah, have like very like, have, especially yeah, just have very, my favorite song from that is Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Yeah. Of Feliz Navidad. <laughs> We're gonna get a <laughs> copyright strike on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Well, yeah, oh. you know, you know, you actually shouldn't do that. Like now that I re now that we're actually being like monetized uh, and making money off this, we we'll, we'll, avoid songs. We'll, we'll call it a cover. <laughs> well, anyways, and I guess other than the Christmas music, I really love a lot of the other traditions that I have back at home. Like at my mom's house, we usually make like some gingerbread cookies, so oh, yeah. it's always fun to I actually, make some of those. I, I, I actually, you're, you're a classical family. That's what yeah. you like. I actually, I actually <laughs> yeah. have like videos of me building a gingerbread house, but I haven't like edited it. Oh, out. I've done that a few yeah, times before. I, think, I suck yeah, at it. Yeah, I, I, I le legit re recorded myself. I'm stuttering like a bitch, but I recorded myself making a gingerbread house. And I, I still have the clips, I just haven't put them together and edited them. I think I did it last year. Right. I should probably do that for this Christmas. I don't, I don't remember doing anything with gingerbread. But then again, my childhood is kind of a blur. There's only one thing I remember about it, and it's not particularly appropriate. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Oh, you, yeah. You, you, you <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I mean, hey, maybe if you're lucky enough and the pandemic stops, maybe I can try to invite you over to my house and we can actually try to make gingerbread cookies together. Considering the con considering the pandemic is uh, predicted not to end until 2022, we were gonna have to wait a bit. Oh fuck! Yeah. Well, at, at least well, at least we are way. starting to get vaccines. That's the oh, important. Part. Yeah, we are. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Bless you, man. So and so let's see. Yeah, it's Christmas music, gingerbread cookies, and well, obviously wait. Christmas morning and just oh, all yeah. the joy that comes out of that. Oh yeah. And, like. Honestly, I think those three things are my favorite parts about Christmas. Hell yeah, for sure. I just like, realized the irony of what just happened. I just finished talking about how we're fucked by a pandemic, and then I sneeze. Yeah, social, <laughs> social distance, or whatever that yeah. fucking Japanese but, meme is. Yeah, so pretty much out of all yeah. this stuff, Not like today. I said for the topic, as they say in Christmas songs, it's the most wonderful time of the year. It is. It's the most wonderful time <laughs> of the year. Grammar. So we, we, we should just be yep. we should just be doing sing alongs. <laughs> <laughs> that I saved that karaoke for the car. I mean, I mean these songs could be playing off the loudspeaker at the bar. Yeah. True. Maybe. So I do have to be worried if someone's drunk and they start going up there doing karaoke. They just randomly <laughs> sing like midsummer songs rather than Christmas songs. Someone's drunk and just gets up there and starts rapping Eminem. Yeah. Sure, man. Uh, Pascal, what is your favorite part about Christmas? Duh. Duh. Because of recent uh, world events. Yeah. This year is going to be canceled. Yeah, it's for me. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, it's going to be a pretty so, it's going to be a pretty boring Christmas for us because usually we have family over and shit like that, but because of yeah. because of the pandemic. The pandemic. Yeah, this, uh, sp speaking of speaking of that, this was actually the first so usually so like uh Derek's usually, you know, a classic Christmas family and everything, but right. uh with me we do the classic Thanksgiving tradition of like one family member makes one thing, another makes another thing, and then yeah. Ah. Uh, so we actually do have a proper Thanksgiving tradition, but it's usually a pain in our ass. Like I'll be honest. <laughs> right. I could imagine. Uh, yeah. But, uh, I mean, you're cooking for all that many people, so of course it would be a pain. In yeah, ass. for sure. But 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 this was the first Thanksgiving. Um, that was just me and grandma because of events that shall not be named. Well, we've, so, we've named them too many times, bro. Right. Unless it's for personal reasons. <laughs> and so shall not be named. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was really loud. Uh, you're going to make the audio balancing job for editor of eSuite really difficult. Love you, editor of eSuite. <laughs> we love you. We love you very much. You we so do. sulky fucking... <laughs> I don't know. So in any case, we we usually have the Thanksgiving uh, traditions, but this was the only one 
uh, that was just me and Grandma. <laughs> and we actually enjoyed it. We enjoyed it a lot. Yes. Uh, since Pascal had, not Pascal, since Dank had to take a call, um, I guess it comes around to me. Uh, speaking of, speaking of Dank, where's the actual Yuri, you think? Cause that was not, that was- Smoking weed? Yeah, probably. <laughs> He's not Danish, he doesn't smoke weed and eat cheese 24 seven. He's not Danish. Uh, <laughs> He's not Danish. He's Finnish. Exactly. Oh man. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Sorry. They're cracking down. Yeah. Uh, but favorite part- I've always been breaking down. Yeah, favorite part about Christmas? Uh, I'd say just spending time with family. I'd say, because- Yeah. Yeah, as I said, it's gonna be a really boring Christmas here, because fucking family can't come over. You know, we have to keep social distance. This is, uh... It, I mean, it's, uh, it's- it's so-so, because, I, like, again- I'm kind of- Sorry, sorry. No, 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 it's fine, you can go. I'm kind of- I'm kind of grateful that we don't- We don't have to do the classic family tradition of everyone getting together. And for two reasons, before, you know, you come at me with your pitchforks and fire. <laughs> right. <laughs> if, you can ask anybody. You can ask anybody. And they're- they would say their least favorite part would be spending all that money in presents. Yeah. You can ask me. Uh, oh yeah, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Gotta love those two oh, days. Oh yeah. Grandma's getting run over by a shopping cart. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Grandma got run over by a I mean, Capitalism and murder, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, in, in any case. <laughs> oh yeah, me and Grandma always avoid Black Friday, by the way, because we will get legitimately murdered Stomped if we dare. Stomped on, right. Stomped on. Uh, in, in any case, uh, I am actually glad that we don't have to do the tradition because for two reasons. One, uh, it's a hell of a lot cheaper now because <laughs> we don't have to just buy all those presents. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and two, um, usually... Now, don't get me wrong, I like my family and everything, but when we get together, me and Grandma don't really come out with a positive experience. Right. Yeah, I- Oh, so pretty much, in other words, all hell breaks yeah, loose. Yeah, again, again, from family to family, Christmas can either be pleasure or pain. I mean, that- that I understand. But like, oh, yeah. Oh, the gifts are fine. It's- it's- it's not that the, the gifts are bad. Like, they actually treat us really well. No, no, no. Aside from, you know, yeah. you always have those- You- there's always, of course, those family members that would just give you clothes or money yeah. or whatever. I mean, but money is valuable the, as the well. The family members who- Yeah. The, the family members who, like, pull through and give you, like, actually really fucking good gifts, uh, love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> like, money isn't a good yeah. gift. No, I- <laughs> I mean, like, a dope as fuck gift. Like, I'll, I'll take the money. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> don't give me wrong. But, but I mean, like, those dope ones. Like, the ones who will buy you whole ass game stations and everything. Like, those kinds of gifts. Right. Uh, yeah, gifts. yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That I understand. Uh, but in any case, so, uh, Christmas is really, it, with family, is really good, but it's expensive. So, now, but also, we don't exactly end the experience very good when the family gets together. Because of, uh, well, personal reasons, of course. Right, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yep. Like sometimes it's good, eh, but the majority is uh, we we prefer just to stay home. Yeah, that's understandable. Right. Yeah, but personally myself, um, yeah, that's like my favorite part about Christmas. Just spending time with family. I'm loving that. Yeah, I got it. I'm pretty sure the only one who I'm pretty sure the only one, uh, the only people in my family that actually enjoy the family hangouts is my uncle, cause I'm over. Right. He doesn't, um, he doesn't like anyone else in my family except me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Which, what which the kind of fuck? Considering I, holy, which is kind of ironic. Holy shit. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Jimmy, 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 hold on. What the fuck happened? There, there's... Okay, I just heard a fucking blaster. What's going on? Holy <gasps> fucking shit. shit that that thing. Thank. The, the, the person earlier. Wait, I wait. Dank is you, back. You said you had a call. You said you had a call, right? What was that blast? <laughs> Oh, it was nothing. Just Atlas uh, asking about a <coughs> core reactor, and a, after that call, another call came out, and I kind of got pissed. Ah, okay. Well, shit. Yeah, that sounds fair enough. Uh, you may want nothing. to think of that. Uh, it might get your mind off of <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, probably. Uh, you do know that I can't get drunk. 
Eh, I don't care. Just take the vodka. Just take Fuck the vodka. It. Thank you, then. Oh, uh, and he hey, shucks it um, again. Well, hey, um, well, hey, Dink. Uh, yes? What is it? What, while we have you on the podcast, what is <clears throat> what do you have any pleasant Christmas memories you'd like to share? So like, what is what is your favorite part about Christmas? Yeah, that's the question. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Just anything, anything to do with yes, Christmas. Yes, that's your favorite. Yes, part. everything about Christmas. Basically, that sounds about right. My favorite part is Christmas. Yeah. I even further beyond. I shouldn't be doing this. My, I'm, I'm I'm actually slightly sick. My voice is like sore, so I shouldn't be doing this. Just. I, I don't even know why. Next when. question. Yeah, let's. Uh, next. Yeah, I guess. Christmas next question. question two. Right, question two. Yeah. If you were served a three course meal, what would you want for each of those? What would you specify <sighs> as a this three course meal? So, a very so, difficult uh, question for me because I'm not really sure what you mean. Yeah, so. I've always heard that, that term, course, and, and everything as a part of the meal. I don't know what that means. Well, like well, it is it is like uh, hold on, let me make sure I get this right. Yeah, a three course meal. So that would mean that would be an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Dessert. Ooh. Yeah. So Ooh, basically, okay. so, so basically, yeah. So a yeah. So it's, so a simple like beginner thing to eat while you wait for like the big appetizer and then like the main course and then like uh, whatever sort of dessert you want. That's a three course meal. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's the thing. My appetizer is kind of a part of the entree, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can imagine. So, like, <laughs> All right. So, like, what, what do I answer for that? <laughs> well, it, like, pick whatever other thing that like is can be known as an entree, and then the other the appetizer is that. Give me fucking anything. Well, like, here's here's the thing. You know how you can order like two sides of something with like. At restaurants, yeah, or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's your thing. I always fill them. If if there are options for what uh, sides you want, I always and, and it's like not limited to dressing. I always fill them all <laughs> all those spots with French fries. Ah, <laughs> that sounds about right. That sounds about right. So so obviously my favorite appetizer is fries, mm -hmm. but uh, but if, if we were like so. Obviously, my favorite appetizer is fries. My favorite entree is difficult, because, like, I can eat an entire fucking pizza on my own uh -huh. and still have, like, a little bit of room. Right. So, uh, so, my, so my appetizer would obviously be french fries. But as for entree, um, if we, it's kind of a tie. It's a, it's a triple tie between chicken tenders, uh, a big-ass juicy <coughs> steak, mm -hmm. or, Ooh, yeah. or, um, Pizza. Yeah, I, I mean, was I mean, gonna make a joke that another one would have been Zaxby's. Uh, <laughs> well, no, because that, because that's, uh, oh. that's a whole meal on it. And so that's not like the bottle done. Do you finish that's the bottle like, already? Just... Yes. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh shit. Jesus. And I'm still stranding. I, My, I don't uh, know how. I still said you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure I answered. Be a but by the way, I, to to reference to reference a past podcast of ours, because I'm pretty sure I answered this, but just in case my, oh. but just in case my answer changed, I'm just gonna reference this real quick. Right. Uh, ask me what Derek said. If we were talking about last meals, I would either get Zaxby's or Cheddar's, because those <laughs> those are my two favorite uh, uh, places to eat. Oh, we're, so if, wait, I, if last... I was going to die, I would I would want to taste Zaxby's or Chenders at least one more time. Right, but we're we're not doing fucking death row meals. We're we're doing so you have you have you have your entree, you have your appetite, you have appetizer entree. What's your dessert? Wait, I I never I didn't say my entree. I said it was a tie. I didn't choose one. Well, fucking let's say fries was your on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, no, I, I, no, took Victor, I took Victor, it. Victor, I took it. I took it. Victor, I got it. Vic, Victor, I got it. Victor, I got it. So, uh, fit fries are my appetizer. Mm -hmm. well, so, oh. <laughs> fit fries are my appetizer. Oh. Mm -hmm. So what I would actually, oh. so what I could do is as my entree would be uh, chicken tenders. Okay. Uh, well, I want to stay chicken tenders because that's my favorite thing to eat with fries. But I fucking love steak. You can do both. Okay. okay. You can have both uh, things. I'm gonna make it easier. So. 
if I wanted to put my three apps, okay, let's let's make this. I mean, so much easier. I mean, don't limit yourself, bro. I mean, you can have more things as your, your whatever fucking meal you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm not I'm not limiting. I'm just making it easier to choose. So if we were, let let's say, not your favorite food to eat like together, just three favorite in general to go right. with that meal. Right. Yeah. So if we were choosing in general, like not specifically my favorite thing to eat with fries. Right. Just in general, in favorite general. thing to eat. Yeah. So, Appetizers, french fries. Uh -huh. Entree, juicy fucking steak. Mm. And dessert, triple chocolate ice cream. Cake. Oh, yeah. Mm. That sounds nice. That's, That's some good. good. Stuff. That sounds really nice. Hold on. Hey, Jimmy, hey. do you actually want some? Do you actually want some? I would. Hold on. He pulls out his little magical device thing. And, uh. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh. Nice. That was. Anyone else want some? That's sure. that's actually. I'll take one. I'll take a. Okay. I'll take a. I'll, Thank you. I'll take a McFlurry. This is a McDonald's. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Wait, Wait, meanwhile, Carl's giving Dink the dead stare because <laughs> he's giving him free food. <laughs> yeah. He's he's staring at Wait, us like, on. what the fuck? Wait, hold on. What time is it currently? Just staring at us like, I am. Uh, right now, it's it's it's, it's eight it's eight fifty p.m. Uh, guys, I think we need right. to go out of the bar side of this uh, place because it's going to be one hell of a show after uh, 22. Uh, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is, that is true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Follow me. We have a... Wait, hold on. Carl, is the room ready? Okay, cool. Okay, let's go. Okay, we have... Follow me. Okay, we just have a, right. we have a fucking room. I feel like this, this is like a fucking crack house. <clears throat> no, I feel, I feel like he's like uh, leading us somewhere to kill us. Yeah, either that or to fuck us. But right. let's see where this goes. All right. No, 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 no. Of course, it's not that, Derek. Me, we know that. Can, can, <laughs> can I reference something Derek always says? Uh huh. Derek, you can't complain this time because you actually did get dinner first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this oh, this is simple. Oh, at least you made dinner first if you're gonna fuck me. He got dinner. Oh man. <laughs> All right, so and hey, he Jimmy. Is face planning. Hey Jimmy. Yeah, what's up? You fucking bitch. One of the. You fucking bitch. <laughs> Just for that, fuck you. <laughs> hey, you want me to say it? This time it's true. Oh, my ass is sweaty. Hold on. Knees weak, arms are heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Vomit on a square okay. already. Bomb spaghetti. Okay, everybody shut the fuck up. Right. Hey, shut the fuck up. Right. Dink, dink, what, what were you saying? So you remember one of the previous episodes of this uh, podcast. You said something about a secret room. And when you, like one of those old style uh, secret rooms, where you like press the wall and the whole fucking, or like the stone on the wall. Episode. Yeah, on the last episode. Well... I don't remember being a part of the last episode. Oh! Well, there you go. I, uh, I don't know if you were there for that little bit, because, like, whenever you left for that, you yelled, FUCK MY FRIES! <laughs> <laughs> it's that one. Yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> well, and, anyway. Like, and more audio so balancing for me. We have a security Victor. Yeah. If he just Anyways. It. He just opened it. There you go. <laughs> My Victor, secret little we love, uh, we party love room. You, we love you. My secret little party room built into this bar. This is the hey. messiest podcast episode I've ever seen. <laughs> Looks like an Ikea. Did he just build an Ikea in the back of the fucking yes, bar? Yes, of course he did. <laughs> Why is there a kitchen? Of course he did. Why is there a kitchen? Why is there a kitchen? Exactly. <laughs> Wait, are you are you referencing? <laughs> yeah, I'm referencing that post from Reddit. Yes, yes I am. Yeah, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the kitchen. Why and is everything the kitchen? <laughs> uh, look in the fridge. Make sure you belong here. Here. No. Here's your IKEA. Uh, thank you for the IKEA merch, man. Let me just change it to this. Uh, Where's the meatball? Oh. oh. <laughs> 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 Editing Victor, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Just every, every time you give wait. every time you give Victor work. Wait, it's, wait. It's, every Victor, time hold on, hold on. Victor work, hold on. Hold on. In the background. Shut the fuck up. What did you say, Dank? <laughs> hey Victor. Yeah? You have the honor to go ahead and then check the fridge. Check the fridge? Oh. Okay. Uh, it's the cocaine. The <laughs> 
<laughs> it's frozen. Okay, I'll open it. <laughs> Damn. Whoa! Kit Kats? Pepsi Max? Oh my hey, god! There's meatballs! This is all my favorite <laughs> food! <laughs> Oh, motherfucking damn! Put it on the upper shelves. What? What's on the upper shelves? Oh my god! There should, there should be beefaroni. That's for Jimmy. But there's also chocolate balls. Yay! Yep. That's uh, there's uh, basic, uh, basically basically the same little, 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 little bit of little bit of um, American knowledge. Beefaroni is actually in a can <laughs> that's meant to be stored in the cabinet. It's actually not good cold. Ah. Eh. I mean, Fuck you, I mean, head. no one's perfect, all right. Neither no is Dank. No one's dank. perfect. Neither is Dank. And I was told, look in the cabinet. Oh. Mm. Uh, yeah. It's just more beefaroni. Pringles, <laughs> potato chips. Holy shit, that's a big can. It's bigger than my dick. <laughs> 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 uh, Victor, Victor, to honor this episode, from now on, if something raunchy appears in one of your videos, you're gonna censor the dick getting erect with the Pringles can. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna censor it. any kind of fucking dick with a Pringles uh, can. <laughs> Anyways, hey Jimmy, uh, check the cabinets. There should be beefaroni in there. The, the multiple cabinets. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh yeah, Derek. People. Also, look in the uh, cupboard right there. There should be some pretzels. Oh, oh shit! Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and also, I like how we got really distracted from the uh, original question. We just did a party. We just in a party room. We haven't even answered haven't the any... fucking question. Yeah, fucking. Anyway, only Jimmy answered the damn question. No one else has. Oh man. <laughs> Let's get uh, comfy here. Ooh, There's a wait, sofa, I, chairs. Wait, wait, oh, nice! Ah, oh, my ass! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I actually remember what the, what the question was. What was your preferred entree appetizer? And yeah, but you kind of already <laughs> answered that. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, me. You know I did. It was fried steak and a triple chocolate ice cream. Cake. Yes. Uh, Derek, uh, if you were served a three course meal, what would each one be? Well, I think this one's an easy one for me because this is what I always do on my birthday. Mm -hmm. On your birthday? <laughs> yeah. Happy so... birthday to you. Shut the fuck up, it's not in six months. <laughs> also, hey. that song is copyrighted for some stupid reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remembered that. That is no good. Okay, well, anyway, the first wait, one... Wait, can we just talk about that real quick? Who the fuck copyrighted the happy birthday song? Hey, and how? Disney. Disney. I don't know. Disney. Right? But, I mean, that's, it, the that's the music industry for you. Anyway... <laughs> The first one and is like a bowl of miso soup and uh, steamed uh, dumplings. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, Asian. Uh, bro. There you go. <laughs> he's, there you go. He's Puerto Rican. He's Asian. Asian. my birthday, you fucking German cunt. Shut the fuck oh. up. Oh, they don't gotta call me out like that, my. <laughs> my. <laughs> what is your idea for Several months of you? It's not like you try to say both man and mate, mine. <laughs> 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 there you go, Pascal. You're gonna you're gonna attack Derek. What is what is your stereotypical ideal dinner? Several mugs of beer. Ah, <laughs> I, love the I mean, I would like that, but October no. <laughs> love the sheets of German sausage. <laughs> yes. uh, meatballs, God, meatballs, way, meatballs. By the way, Pascal, is that actually true? Like, because everybody like when they're personified. When they're personifying Germany, it's always like this big, uh, it's like this big Viking woman that's just jugging mugs of beer. Oh, is that still true? Oh, no, not for everyone. No, no. again, no. Anyway, again, that's that's a stereotypical to... Germany. It's not everyone. <laughs> Anyways, back to my answer. Yes. Or, or you said steamed dumplings or oh, something else. So the appetizer I usually have is miso soup and steamed dumplings. Mm -hmm. The second thing I have. It's either a chicken yakisoba or a scallops yakisoba. Ah. Yeah. Hey, do you want uh, scallops? Food. Eh. What did you say, Dan? Eh, seafood ain't for everyone, okay. but eh, yeah. whatever. Oh, right. oh, oh, I can, I can testify. We have, a, we yeah. have a basically like home economics or, or shit like that in school, whatever it's called. But basically mm -hmm. it's 
like taking care of your house and econo- economy and also cooking. So, uh, right. uh, so uh, we were in groups. Uh, we made sushi, uh, which I've never done, <laughs> and uh, we had we had raw fish. Now, I, I have a friend who is the the smart guy in class. Basically, um, <clears throat> he lives by the sea, and he despises fish. Like he literally does. really yeah, because he's just I don't I don't I don't know why. But when me and him try to eat the sushi, when it got to the raw fish. Like we both gagged. I almost fucking vomited. <laughs> so wow. what's wrong with raw? Really? So I literally eat raw fish. I don't, it's. I mean, again, raw fish not for everyone. I, cooked yeah. fish, that's yeah. fine. But like raw fish. Well, mm. well, yeah. That's the thing is that like in the yakisoba, the scallops are cooked. So yeah, that's that's good. That's, pretty... that's good for me. Imagine sushi, but all the fish is cooked. Uh, yeah, and I guess for the last yeah. for the desserts, this isn't something I I get on my birthday, but it's one of my favorite desserts. Chocolate pie. Oh yeah, that sounds. <laughs> I, I don't know if that was Dan getting drunk or him just like salivating. Oh, chocolate pie. I think both. No, no, no. I just fucking choked. Oh. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> there's my answer. Appetizer, what? miso what? soup, and beef dumpling. That's nice and all, but Entree, what, what did you choke on? Fucking skeleton. air. I was gonna say you choked on spit. Yeah, or or the champagne oh. he's chugging. I'm pine. Put the champagne down. Yeah. All right, uh, Pascal, uh, you weird mm-hmm. person. If you were served a three-course meal, <laughs> How do you get a fucking bastard. We're all weird. Uh, if you were served a three-course meal, what would you want for each of us? Why did he turn Scottish for that insult? It was British. <laughs> what kid? What kid? One kid? Slap the shit out of here, you. Okay, Russell bastard. Howard. <laughs> that, was, that was even. That wasn't Brit. That was too British to be Russell Howard. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly. All right, all right, Frankie Boyle. <laughs> what? <laughs> Boris Johnson. <coughs> Boris Johnson. Fat cunt. Get him pissed off enough, he's gonna start yelling in German. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Mr. Pascal, uh, or Mrs. Mm-hmm. Pascal, however you want to be known. Uh, if you, <laughs> if you, if you were served, I am cisgendered male. Yeah. <laughs> if you were served a three-course meal, what would you want for each of those? So appetizer, entree, and uh, dessert. Oh. <laughs> uh, appetizer, mozzarella sticks, uh, entree, Ooh, that's pizza. Good. That's a solid choice. Dessert, I don't take dessert, so I never. Oh, you take don't like dessert? Oh. <laughs> nope. Oh. Really? Strange. I completely forgot cheese sticks are a thing. Can I change my answer? <laughs> cheese sticks. Are- uh, you could you can add that to your answer. Like my answer had two things. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's whatever you want it to be. It's whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna, it was super, super quick, because Pascal <laughs> still finishes it. Super quick. Uh, put the fries with the steak as my two sides, yeah. and my appetizer is steak. That's a good combo. Mozzarella steaks. That's, That's a good combo. That's a good combo. Uh, Dank, yeah. if you were served a three-course meal, what would you want for each of those? <sighs> Thoughts. Wait, did, uh, wait, Pascal didn't say is that his dessert. He said he, say he doesn't like dessert. Oh, he doesn't? Okay. Yeah. Let's see here. What I hear Possibly blasters. a... Game. Oh. That's <laughs> 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 just Jimmy on his Switch again. God damn it. Anyways, what will my three-course meal be? Yes. Appetizer, fucking... Possibly, like, uh... I actually do not know what my appetizer would be, but my... Vodka. Like, the... <laughs> that is very cert. You have pissed off the Finnish man. No. Wait, no. no. I just realized, speaking of drinks, we, we, we just chose our foods. We didn't even say our ideal drinks. None of us. Well, oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but it, it well, shouldn't matter. Yeah, I guess that doesn't so. matter. Doesn't matter. Anyways, I don't know about my appetizer, but my... You just turned into a car. <laughs> you good? Are you okay, just... sir? <laughs> Grand autismo? I mean, wait, who put the car on? One second. No. <laughs> Let's fucking keep that. One second. Okay, Derek actually left. Yeah. Okay, okay. He, he took his keys back. Good. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Here. So, the second uh, part of the three course meal possibly would be ch- fish and chips. Mm. Ooh. That's a good choice. Ooh. Good choice. Good choice. Fish and chips, Mike. Fish and chips, Mike. And for dessert, possibly like a, not vodka, 
if you're going to be <laughs> saying that. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it again. I wasn't going to make the same yeah. joke twice. <laughs> okay, so possibly for a second course, or like the fucking final thing, a gay dessert, I think that would be possibly either Monster as the drink, possibly, huh? and fucking just... Just takes a sip of Monster. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Ooh. Cheesecake. That's a good choice. Yeah, cheesecake is... That's a good choice. That's for actual... Uh, <clears throat> for him. But for me, fucking a three-course meal. Fucking... <laughs> cheesecake. <laughs> well, technically, I do not do any fucking three-course no meals, my personal <laughs> That's a good old man impression, Pesca. <laughs> uh, hey, yo, get off my lawn! <laughs> oh, man. And uh, you can, Derek you is can dying. Hear the cane. You, you can hear the cane shaking. Yeah. <laughs> You can hear him trembling. Okay. Somebody get okay. my cane again. You know, <laughs> I am falling and I can't. I am falling and I can't get up. Oh, that's good. I am falling. I can't get so up. So you're you're breaking you're breaking Derek right now. Calm down. <laughs> All right. Wait, I have something been... else. Oh, yeah, a long time ago. I'm gonna go can, to the next question, please. Uh, yeah. Let's go to the next question. Wait, you haven't answered oh, your wait, question. Oh, wait, yeah, no, you? no, that is true. That is true. <laughs> fuck. Oh, yeah, fuck. So, uh, appetizer, I'm boring as fuck, so I'll say, like, rice. Which is, I mean, if, if, right. if, yeah, if you have something good to cover it with, I mean, that's some spicy shit. Chicken. Either, yeah, yeah, mm. sh just, yeah, just, rice. Just yeah, chicken and on that rice. Chicken, and chicken and rice is a good choice. Chicken and rice is a good choice. <laughs> Either that or just macaroni. It's really good. <laughs> mac and cheese. All right. Everybody loves mac and cheese. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm, so, uh, and then, and then my entree or like the main course, I'd say spaghetti bolognese easily. Either, either, either that, or again, probably like a really juicy hamburger, mm. a really juicy one. That, that's some tasty mm. shit. Bro. Hamburger. Hamburger. And, uh, Ham hamburger, bro. and when, uh, when it, when it comes to, uh, desserts, I, I think recently, actually, I've just kind of gone into a lot of, like, McFlurries to call me unhealthy. But, like, their ice cream, McDonald's ice cream is fucking delicious. Like, we, Even though the machine breaks down half yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's just mostly an American thing, since here in Sweden it's mostly fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's fine. I think the machine breaking the down is when the Karen started coming oh, up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hot mess. Uh, <laughs> what? Wait, what did, Derek, what did you say? I said that the reason carrots are so prominent in America is because the ice cream machine in McDonald's keeps breaking down. Yeah, probably. <laughs> My mother is an American, but what? <laughs> is, is her name Karen? Is, <laughs> <laughs> no. is there some information we need to like know? One. Uh, that is... No, but she asks. She acts like one. So. Yeah, that's fair enough. Oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> but like we have it. We have McFlurry cookie dough, which is really fucking tasty. Ooh. Yeah, it's real. Why good. do you have all the good shit? I don't fucking know. I should, I should we have been visiting fat. Sweden one day. Yeah, you probably should. Once the pandemic is over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm crying. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I, I could literally just take a train to Sweden like right now. That's so. that's spicy. That's spicy. But like a, yeah, but eleven hour train ride. Let's go. Yeah, but but then again, let's let's wait until the restrictions come down. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Right, uh, question three. Another food-related one. What weird food oh. combinations do you really enjoy? Hmm. Here's, here's some... Weird food combinations. Some, some thought provoking. I'll, I'll go first because I'm a... Uh, just to get it over with. I'll, I like rice with ketchup. That's good. I like that. You, you like that? Yeah. It's, hmm. it's not the worst thing. Hmm. I mean, I remember people in school used to call me a little bit weird because, like, oh, why do you have ketchup on rice? And it's like, because it's fucking good. It's really good. Hmm. But what about <laughs> pasta with ketchup? Yeah, that's good. So, and like, I'd, I'd say like pasta and rice, there are some, when cooked, there are similarities, right? I mean, yes. yeah. So fucking, I don't see how, how like having ketchup on rice is that bad of a thing. Like it might be messy, of course, but like it's good. It tastes really good. Maybe not that. It's definitely <laughs> an odd combo because I've heard of soy sauce and rice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah a bit, that's a bit. That's just Asian stereotypical yeah. stuff. 
Yeah. I'm not maybe, trying to be racist right now. No, but. no, yeah. It, maybe, but it's but it is pretty good. I mean, I mean, it's not. Soy sauce is not the worst thing, so I can imagine it being pretty good yeah. with rice. And I mean, rice is big in in, in Asia. I mean, so I wouldn't. Loading on soy sauce is kind of salty, though. So yeah. Yeah, there's that. Much. I mean, I mean, I I wouldn't be surprised if it's common in like Asia because they both come from there. So yeah, yeah, it, it wouldn't be surprising. Uh, yeah, yeah. So does, uh, Derek, I'd assume that was kind of your answer, unless you have something else to say. No, it's not that. I'm still trying to think of what an answer is. Yeah, <laughs> what is answer? What is an answer? Answer is the uh, the response to a question. <laughs> hey, Vsauce, Michael, Michael here. here. What is an, an answer? answer? <laughs> <laughs> or is it? An answer? Or is it an answer? Right. <laughs> Boom. But I'm still trying to figure out what my answer would be. Yeah. Just. Uh, yeah. We'll uh, leave you till later then. So, Pascal, what weird food right. combination do you really enjoy apart from rice with ketchup? I, I literally just said mine. Yeah, rice with ketchup. <laughs> Pasta with ketchup. I mean, that's not weird. That's not weird. I I find it quite weird that I like it. So, I, I mean, yeah, that you like it, it, but in general, is it an odd combo? No, I don't think so. Eh. I don't think so. Oh wait, that's to be remember. I don't think this is what I've done myself, but this is what I actually saw someone do while I was in the dining hall one day. I think it was either freshman or sophomore year. Huh? Early story time. <laughs> well, no, no, it's actually relevant to the question. Yeah, I know, I know. But go on. So. <laughs> I think one of the oddest combinations I think I've seen someone do for food mm -hmm. would be a steak and cheese dip like you get in the Mexican restaurants. A steak and cheese dip? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that is a bit strange. Yeah. I mean, I can Yeah. I, I mean, I saw this one guy just take like a ladle of like cheese dip, pour it all over his steak. I look at it like, the fuck? I mean, you have. I mean, you have melted. And I think it looks at me is like, yeah, this is a, yeah, it's a pretty good combination right here. I mean, I mean, you have melted cheese on like hamburgers, so like I can't imagine it'd be that bad. Yeah, I can't imagine it'd be that bad either, but it's just it's, still it's just strange. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I can't. Kinda, yeah. I mean, I can understand why. Got me but, off guard a little bit. Yeah. But, it's not. Yeah. It's not the strangest combo. It's not the strangest combo out there, but it definitely caught me off guard when yeah. I saw I, I, this one I, yeah. and I can, dude doing I, it in yeah. the dining hall. Yeah, but I can see how people might find it appetizing. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> uh, thank. What weird food combinations do you really enjoy? Well, I don't know exactly on any good <clears throat> fucking weird combos that I can remember of, but hmm. <clears throat> I myself have actually have some random ass fucking combos. Yeah. Oh, do you mm. want to talk about them? <laughs> you don't have to like them. <laughs> no, I am not going to say it. You're not going to say it? <laughs> it's going to be fucking cursed. It's cursed. That's kind of the point of the question, bro. I'm <laughs> not going to be answering it because it's going to be fucking cursed. Can you give us a teaser? A little tease, please. Something red with uh, something fucking orange. Something red with something orange. What? Red with something orange. The only like basketball with tomato sauce. <laughs> no, I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking something like that, but just orange in general, like the fruit orange. <clears throat> like, what is it? Marinara sauce and orange? Like Tabasco sauce? Teriyaki sauce with banana. Wait, no, that's not orange. <laughs> was it? I, I sent it. I sent a weird fucking uh, DM to Wait, let me just check something. Bruh, bruh. And I would, I would say that uh, maybe Jamie would have an answer, but apparently he's on the shitter right now. So yeah, good, ep <laughs> good episode. People, some people just have really slow bowel movements, including me. Mm. James has fast piss, piss motions. P <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No. No. He has a quick. His his he has quick urinal movement, but his bowel movements are. Teriyaki okay. sauce and bananas. Yeah, uh, there quote, you go. Quote, well, I think it takes 30 seconds to take a piss, but but 30 minutes. 67 hours to take a shit for you. Yeah. Uh, exactly. No, here, here's the here's the difference. 30 seconds to piss, but 30 minutes to shit. Yeah, we can tell by the echo. You're you're in a place right now. But real quickly, what weird food combo do you really enjoy? Now I can see why you think I would have one, considering how fucking weird I am. But. <laughs> I don't, I don't particularly like weird food combos. Like, I prefer to have my combos. I prefer to have my food as my food. As your food, just normal. Fair uh, enough. Fair enough. 
Fair enough. Fair enough. The only the only thing I physically combine isn't really weird. In fact, a lot of people fucking love this. Mm-hmm. At least to my knowledge. Oh, what is it? It's combining uh, mashed potatoes, gravy, meat, and corn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't sound too weird. Yeah, you see, the yeah. only thing I actually combine is actually delicious, not weird. Right. Hmm. By the way, by the way, if, by the way, if you're going to like fast food places and you get like like those little dip bags of like ketchup or whatever, if if you're gonna have ketchup, like if you and you get like those bags of like pepper, put. Sprinkle some pepper on the ketchup because that gives us like a nice tingle actually to the ketchup. It's really good. Um, Just give it a little burst. kick. Yeah. I, I hate to burst your bubble, but I'm not a ketchup <laughs> man. I prefer ranch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Not everyone is, but like. This ranch tastes kind of different. Yeah. <laughs> but like. <laughs> <laughs> but but if you ever do get like ketchup or whatever and combine it with some pepper on top of it, that's. It's, it's not that I don't really like good. ketchup. I still. Like, like, it's just you have a preference for ranch more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and plus, I wasn't even talking to you directly about this. I was just saying to everyone in general, if you get ketchup and like a dip bag and you get some pepper, that's a really good combo. I think so personally. My family thinks so. <laughs> I, I would say I'm still I'm trying to think so hard at like the foods I eat, what would be a weird combination, but oh. I am getting nothing. Yeah. The only, I think, like, I know back in high school... Especially in freshman year, because I know you did this. You had, like, pizza and ranch. I know that one. That's not weird, though. There is actually a ranch that is specifically made to dip pizza in. I, I know, uh, but yeah. I'm just saying, I do remember you doing that. So there's, like, a combo I was you've thinking, if, if it was going to be, like, regular ranch, it's like, oh, oh, that's that's something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it's not that weird, though, because people have obviously done it since they was, made yeah. a pizza ranch. I wasn't right. saying it's weird. I'm just saying that's just a combo I know you've done before. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I've combined a pizza and ranch, but that's normal, at least yeah. for pizza eaters. I've combined in, uh, mashed potatoes, gravy, meat, and corn, but that's delicious. Right. Hell, that's basically a pot pie just without vegetables. <laughs> wow. That's about right. Um, so yeah, both of my combinations that I have done is normal. Like with how weird I am, I'm surprised I don't eat weird. Right. Mm. If 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 like, if not normal, at least uncommon. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, no, I don't agree with that. With the pure silence. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't, because th- people have obviously done it since they have a pizza ranch. Yeah. You have to dip it in normal <laughs> ranch first to get the idea. No. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm. So so they've done it. It's not weird. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, Derek, do you think you still have an answer? Uh, no, I don't. A- at least if it's not some, if if it's not a food combination you enjoy, just a general weird food combo you've had. Hmm. Food combo, wait, like that could count? Food combo you've had and it's weird? Mm. Yeah. I mean, if you can't come up with, <laughs> with, with a food combo you enjoy, at least come up with a food combo you've tried. That's what I'm well, what I've, mm. what I've actually done pretty recently is like, like quesadillas and like cheese dip from the dining hall. Mm. That doesn't sound bad. That doesn't That's sound delicious. bad. It, it's actually really freaking good. Oh, there's your answer. So there's your answer. You like, you well, like I'm pretty cheese sure. Dip. I'm pretty sure there are some people that would do it in the dining hall. Like, get some quesadillas and some cheese dip. Just I mean, dip it in would there. People would yeah. do it, would I mean, people would do it in the dining hall. Jesus. I mean, is aren't... that is not what I meant. No. <laughs> I mean, doesn't maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but doesn't quesadilla like it? The, doesn't the ingredient for quesadillas require like cheese, or isn't that like common? Yeah. Yeah. So um, I I don't think that's too weird. <laughs> uh, it's it's an, it's, it's a combo. It. Yeah, it's a combo. He tried it. He enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. Whatever. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> what is it that you you sick with the COVID? You want to know what's wrong? No, 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 no. I just remembered something. What? Yeah. So you know how I love beefaroni, uh-huh. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know. Which is we, basically, we, we which is basically macaroni pasta topped with tomato sauce, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, when someone made homemade beefaroni, like basically just spaghetti sauce and macaroni uh-huh. um, and meat, I expected it to be delicious, but I hated that shit. The spice. <laughs> <laughs> like, like be, uh, Chef Boyardee beefaroni, I can eat all day. <laughs> yeah. But so, but when someone tried to make hamburger helper, which I love, but then put spaghetti sauce in it, that shit was terrible. Oh, well, that's a big rip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's something with, like, 
I think it's something with like combining the cheese with the sauce, you know? Right. Mm. Yeah. It's not good. It's not, it's not good at all. It's, it's not good. <laughs> Just turns into Anthony so, Fan the Anthony so, Fantano of food. So the uh, <laughs> so the the internet so busy food cool. nerd. <laughs> So, so my answer for a food combo that I tried but didn't fucking like is spaghetti sauce put on top of hamburger helper. Yeah. Mm. That shit. It's so so. Not good. Yeah. Uh, Not good. Yeah, I think that's everything. Wait, what is the thing? I have a feeling that uh, uh, Carl needs my help. Uh, so I'm going to be, be right back moment. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's fine with me. Yeah. Y'all, we have been talking for an hour and 22 minutes. That sounds about yep. right. <laughs> so, off to show and tell? Yeah. Oh, show and tell. And uh, welcome to show and tell. And uh, I think Dank's coming back. Yeah, I think so. Hello. I'm back. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> just got to uh, show and tell. What, was, what happened? Oh, nothing much. No? Mm. I finished my coffee, boys. That's a small bar fight. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's uh. a small bar fight. <laughs> you know, whenever you, if you put small and bar fight together, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a bar fight, some shit happened, for sure. Yeah. But that, uh, confuses, yeah. But that confuses me, because I couldn't hear a fucking thing. You do know that the walls around here are soundproof. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. I guess that's fair enough. Yeah. Um, I specifically designed it for uh, this occasion because if there's uh, gonna be a loud as fuck bar fight over there and we're doing a, something over here, we don't want you to don't be hear it. interrupted. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, I get that. I get that. Uh, and I think yeah. you all want to show for show and tell? Yep. I've got one in. I've heard it's I guess not this good. Be... Yeah, I it's not news. good, but, I have news. but I... this is pretty big for me yeah so i i can i can uh, pretty much assume, get it out there yeah i can assume that this i know what you're going to talk about yeah so listeners there's pretty much two months ago oh while i was uh walking on my way to classes well not necessarily classes over to the library one morning right i was going over there so i can work on some stuff for my geography class and then directly after i got done I was going to go to my circuits lab and do something with that. Right. So this whole sort of thing kind of started while I was waiting at a crosswalk, like waiting for it to say I can cross. Yes. So I look over and see that there's a car over in one of the turning lanes. Mm -hmm. And I figured, eh, I'm pretty sure by the time that turns green, it's probably going to have to wait for me to cross. Right. So the light turns green and the crosswalk light turns to where I can walk. And I just start walking, yep. assuming that they knew I was crossing. Turns out they didn't know and I didn't even see the thing go. I just crossed on my own. And then next thing I know, oh, I get hit. I go in the air for a few feet and land a little bit further Aye. down the road like not a little not like a little bit further like 500 feet away just like right i think it sprang me about like five or ten feet away yeah, nothing, nothing but still extreme. close enough to where i can crawl back to like a sidewalk mm -hmm. but but then i kind of realized that once my vision in my left eye sort of turned red i was bleeding from on my forehead, and I had a massive gash on my arm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, which, it's no good. from what I can understand, it's actually pretty healed up right now. I don't know if you can oh, see yeah. it because of the lighting. I, I, can yeah. I can slightly see it. Yeah. But the thing is, is that, like, whenever I got it, it was bad. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, once the, like, adrenaline wore off, how, how bad was it? Once the adrenaline wore off, well, once the adrenaline wore off, it wasn't so bad, but anyways, so apparently I managed to crawl back and this girl just like, I guess stops, rushes out of her car or, and I think she was just as scared as I was right. of what just happened. Cause, Cause was, was she the one who was involved in it? Yeah, yeah okay. it was. Right. She's the one who ended up hitting me 
Yeah, but I guess instead of like thinking, oh shit, I better get out of here, she actually just like came by to make sure, or I guess I didn't kick the bucket. Right. Yeah, which is. Which, I mean, yeah, that's good. Which I'll be honest, I'm surprised didn't happen solely because of the fact that I was hit by an SUV sized oh, vehicle. Oh, yeah. And not a car. Oh, mm. yeah. So. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, that, that. so so. You're. He, you're, and I can also confirm from that one, since she actually checked on me, that is the first time I've held a girl's hand just because of how bad that was. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. Ask Al, shut but, the fuck up. This is serious. Taking, taking, that, taking that out of context makes it sound so fucking bad. Uh, but no, no anyway, I, I, get, I, get, I get what you mean. Anyways, so my first instinct was to try to call my mom, but she didn't answer. So I did like the next thing I could think of, which was to put a notification for everyone in uh, Jimmy's server that at like that happened. Yeah, that that no, like that should happen, right? Yeah. Also, I can pretty much confirm that the time this happened was around seven thirty to seven forty a.m. Because I oh, think yeah, super ten early. minutes after, I was just like pretty much in agony for a while right. i tried to call my mom around 7 50 which that was not that was like a lost cause because she didn't answer so i just texted everyone on discord yeah so some time passes and an ambulance comes by picks me up oh you messaged us right as it like, happened hmm you messaged us right when it happened um no actually i texted you guys while i was in the ambulance oh, okay Come to think of it, yeah. So, oh, then I'm, I'm just transferred over to the hospital, and they have to do a few tests to make sure that, and like I didn't break anything, right? And Which, make sure I got some IVs in me, so right, so it wouldn't you... like hurt nearly as bad. Yeah. Uh, and from what I know from the X-rays, I didn't break anything. And right, good. the worst that I ended up getting was like that scrape on my arm. Right. From a concussion that I think lasted for a month. I don't know how long concussions last for. And a scalp hematoma, which Pascal like described in like the announcement comments. You want so me to pull much, it up? Why? Because I was like, I think it was like right around here. It happened. Right. I don't know if you're doing, like, the video so the viewers can see it, but where I'm pointing at is, like, a small space on my forehead. On your where forehead, right. Hit. Yeah. And that's yeah. why you were seeing your, red. Basically, uh, your left side of the forehead. Yeah, and that's where you were seeing uh, red. Actually, wait. No, wait. It was either my right or left eye. I, oh, wait. Yeah, it was my left eye. Yeah. That's Anyways. Weird. Yeah. So, of course, while I was in the hospital, I called my sister about it then my mom, and then my dad, and then one of my friends here at college who was in the same class as me because I knew if I didn't say anything about why I wasn't going to be in class, it... And people were going to wonder, like, ooh, what the fuck happened? <laughs> yeah. Right. So, apparently, some time passes after, like, the x-rays, and I'm able to... I find out, like, after some time that I was still able to walk around. Yeah. I guess once like everything sort of just like calmed down, I was able to walk around again. Yeah. And, and once everything was done, I had my sister drive me back over to the apartment right. and switch out of what I was wearing at the time because, it well, bloody. I'm pretty sure it was covered in blood yeah. and tried to get me in something that was more comfortable to wear. Yeah. So then my dad and stepmom and mom get over there. And let me just say, I don't think my mom's driven her car as fast as she did that day. Right. Solely because of the fact that that happened. Right. Uh, and I also yeah. had to get some uh, medications. Yeah, it's like painkillers. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, as, and, as, and, as, and as Pascal posted, uh, scalp hematomas occurs 
outside, uh, it occur on the outside of the skull and often can be felt as a bump on the head because the injury is to the skin and muscle layers outside of the skull. The scalp hematoma itself cannot press on the brain. Oh. So pretty much oh. the rest of the day goes by and okay. like I just, well, I don't know if it's I had issues eating, but it's just that I couldn't eat a whole lot and I pretty much slept for the rest of the day. What I think didn't help for that matter was the fact that like the next day, like keep in mind, I was like, I had my head in bandages as well as my arm. So the next day I had to replace them. So at one point we started trying to get my wound all cleaned up. Like this is specific for the one on my forehead. Cause like, they put like a hydrogen peroxide solution on it to make sure it was like cleaned up. And for like a moment, I could just feel myself giving out like my eyes, I guess like they were blurring a little bit. Right. And for what my stepmom saw, it looked like they rolled back or something. Uh, right, right back into your skull. Yeah. Oh. So after they put like the solution in my head, like I, felt like my eyes blurring. My vision, I think, goes black after that. I was able to grab onto the counter before this happened, but my head then, like, sort of falls on the counter. Not enough to make the damage worse, though, but, but like, I didn't, like, crash down on it. Right. So I was able to, like, sort of catch myself before it happened. Yeah. But, yeah, I think it was just, like, whenever they press, like, the peroxide on that spot where I ended up getting that... That little bump? Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. It just... It kind of just, like, I guess triggered something in my head. Right. And that That's shut me down just, temporarily. Like, yeah. It basically yeah, got sort of did that. Sweet child. And as I brought up with, like, I think Victor and, and Jimmy, like, like, in private DMs, like... I kind of had a feeling, like, since this accident, I had a feeling that my mental state was going to right. crash down yeah. after that. And oof, I knew it was going to happen, but it doesn't look like, like it's going very well for me. I right. can say that much. Yeah, no, I can understand that. I think everything after this car accident, like, I'm surprised I was lucky enough to survive it. It's just... It's I guess there are some it's, events that it, happened yeah, that... It's scary, and, like... Yeah, it the is. Trump, but Trump I feel like there were just a lot of things. I just become a lot more like indifferent to, especially like in school settings. Like, like I still try in school, but it's just like it's. it's, it's I, I mean, I don't know if, I mean, I don't know if the crash did changed my like usual behavior or what, but I don't know. Right. It's. I mean. I mean. It's hard. I mean. It's hard to deal with going through trauma like that, uh, especially yeah. especially someone who is like ex like seen and experienced a car crash which eventually like yeah. spiraled into my sort of depression and sort of something yeah which so, i think since this happened i'm starting to spiral down into mine which i'm completely like right i just don't know how to handle it yeah. right now yeah i mean best best case scenario i'd say like talk uh, like again talk to people of course if, if you can get professional yeah. if you can get professional help, help uh do that doesn't work for everyone, but I feel like that is like the most effective way. I know it worked for me when I yeah. talked to my school counselor. Um, medications, I'd say it it helps, but it needs to be done along with uh, therapy. I'd say. As, yeah, you know, but uh, you you know just try to cope with it, and I mean let us yeah, as, let us know whenever yeah, I, again again deal with it. you know let let me know I if you're feeling down or anything because you know I'll, I'll I'll be there to talk if you need it. Like, I tried to deal with that myself at one point, and um, it really didn't work. Right. And, yeah, so yeah. pretty much since, like, that car accident, I've kind of been spiraling down a lot. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think I think the most important thing, because I, I remember when I started spiraling like that, I remember, like, just don't, like, don't do anything like stupid or like something you'll regret in a sort of sense that's what i kept reminding myself in a sort of sense that don't let this depression make you do something that you won't be able to like take back in a sort of sense much like like doing, right. doing dumb stuff like 
like drinking or taking drugs or you know possibly killing yourself because that's like that's that's worst case scenario i feel if you if you don't suppress that in a sort of sense and it's it's, yeah. it's fucking difficult it's really difficult yeah but you know yeah you, and i guess since then i've just become more paranoid of just crossing crosswalks in general right in fact i i got so paranoid that I changed my route whenever I walked to school solely because of the fact that that crosswalk gives me PTSD. Right. And I pretty much nicknamed it Hell's Crosswalk. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And, like, I mean, at times, that, that sort of anxiousness, at times, that can be good because at least you're wary. You, you know how it is to, like, to, to have that shit happen, so you get more wary about it, so... Yeah, at times that can yeah. be a good thing, as long as it doesn't get, like, too too bad and shit like that, you know? Yeah, which I'm trying to make sure it doesn't get too bad, but I, I, it's I hard. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's really hard. Yeah, it's probably unavoidable to have, like, a low spike that, like that. But as long as you can, like, recover from that and try to cope with it, that's kind of... That's what I'm honestly hoping for, but as it stands right now with how things go on in the real world, it's really hard to yeah. think of how to manage that right. because, like... Literally, just the only place I usually feel like I can just openly talk with someone is just on Discord. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the fucking 2020 has been a fucking train wreck, so it's, it's tough. It has been. Yeah, but if, if, as long as you can find a good person to talk to, both just friends and shit like that, and also if you can talk to someone professionally, that's, I'd, I'd say go for it. Right. Just trying to help you out, man, because fucking I, I, right. I know how it is. It it's really fucking difficult. Uh, yeah, was that was that it? Uh, yeah, else? I think so. Yeah, I think that's uh, okay. all the bit. That's the big thing I had to say. Right. Yeah. I, yes. I'm sensing uh hell energy. You're around here. Hell energy? No, I'm sensing uh unknown hell energy around here. So be this, prepared that uh, the curator comes around. Is this, ooh, is this doom? Is that Evan? Not doom. <laughs> no, it's not intellectual property. PSD, the mission starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am hearing something. Stronger. I'm hearing it get stronger. Oh, that's fucking scary. Oh, there's portal. Oh, hello. Welcome. How are you Here doing, Evan? Hey. How, hey. How are you doing, my man? Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, no that's worries. for sure, but it's fine. Fucking, I thought you were coming with us to have a fucking drink, have a good drinky drink time, bro. Bro, fucking, catch it. Oh, oh. Where's my chicken tendies? <laughs> <laughs> Victor, what the f What? <laughs> no, no, wait, that's Pascal. Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you confused. Bitch. Yeah. Bro. Stop. <laughs> oh, man. Look. <laughs> I want to get that easy. Stop, please. <laughs> right. No. Uh, where have you been, Evan? I, uh, I've. Been, uh. What What has been going on in Hellland or wherever the fuck you come from? Um. Well. Uh. A lot of us and well. Finally had enough of my shit. Yeah. So we're building an island in the sky. Oh, <laughs> just fucking sky blocks. Hell but, yeah! Literally sky block. Hell yeah! That sounds nice. Literally sky block, but the end result is a massive fucking palace. Ah, yes. That sounds like sky blocks as well if you play professionally. I hexed it. I just, I just yeah, dropped I my literally blowing pot there. You drop your what? <laughs> I just I dropped, dropped my, my monster control. condom for my magnum nah. bong. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> that was not the time to be quoting Danny DeVito. <laughs> it's, it's always the time to quote Danny DeVito. No! <laughs> I, just dropped, I just dropped my... my. I'm trying so hard not to say magnum dong. <laughs> <laughs> I just dropped my beefaroni bowl into my fucking litter box. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's worst case scenario. Oh no! Dang, what the fuck? Where did I get You know what it is? Dank, dank. Uh, <laughs> fuck, second rule. Hey. 
<laughs> hey, Jimmy, it looks like the beefaroni went to shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, don't, well, don't, don't that's worry. Only funny. the bowl went to shit. Don't worry, don't worry. Only Funny the bowl man. went this shit. I long, I long finished the actual beefaroni. Good, clean nice. that fucker up. Uh, <laughs> so uh, as, uh, as as Evan was a bit late, let's just reverse back to question time for like five minutes. Wait, what the fuck? I just realized I was wondering what. Wait, hold. On, I don't mean to interrupt again, but I just realized I don't know when this happened. But Grandma is not home. <laughs> is she not? Really? Wait, Wait what? This entire time, Grandma hasn't been home. Okay. Wow. That's uh, strange. When the fuck? When the what? Home Alone. Okay. The movie. I feel. I, I feel. I feel like I'm no. in the Twilight Zone right now. <laughs> You're now entering. What did she mean? How long has this been happening? I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to tell you. The imbecilic. The imbecilic conversation. It's like me being the. Like it's like me being the first to load into Rainbow Six Siege. There's a disturbance in the force. You're now entering the stupid. The <laughs> The stupid zone. <laughs> you are now entering the stupid. You are now entering. Don't mind me disrupting my people. You are now entering. <laughs> All right, that's good audio balancing. Stop that, Pascal. Audio balancing. Okay, that was just uh, strange. Audio balancing. Is audio balancing. We love you, Editor Victor. Yeah, we love you, Editor Victor. Editor Victor, we love you. Lovely. Fuck you, Editor Victor. Put a cheeseburger on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even doing video editing, bro! <laughs> We're talking about sound editing, Victor, not video editing, Victor. We're talking about not video matter, but it's wait, 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 for the bloopers. Make a thumbnail of fucking cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just I will. put a cheeseburger no. in the no. thumbnail. I will. Don't Victor, care. Victor, Do I it. Just realized, I will. Victor, I just realized, uh, would video editing Victor be called Viditor? That was that's <laughs> awful. That's, no. no, 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 that sounded wrong. Get vectored. <laughs> so uh let, what, let's 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 What's so wrong with that vector? I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh no. Evan. Ev okay. I'll remember that. I'll on your next idea. No no <laughs> as personally I didn't like it. Doesn't mean you're you're not wrong about it being correct. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't shit on it. Like my cursed yeah, images. As as y'all know, I'm not one to hold grudges. But imagine if that's the one grudge I hold. You just shit on one idea, and I'm like, all right, I remember that. <laughs> you'd you'd be banned. <laughs> from suddenly, a, you would you would be banned quickly from like, a server. Suddenly, he is Roger Smith. <laughs> <laughs> He's Roger Smith level petty. Yeah. Just imagine. Why did you kill that man's family and burn his house to the ground with him still in it? He shit on one of my ideas. He shot on one of my ideas. <laughs> uh, Evan, Evan, Evan. You're, ask, you're asking the guy that killed six people for nineteen dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is cheap. Oh. You so petty that if you just that's like Goofy wanting his that's like Goofy wanting his one dollar thirty two cents of rubber band. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That sounds about right. Wait, Evan, you watch the wait, Evan, you watch that video too? <laughs> Seemingly so from the laughing. <laughs> I, I introduced you to Evan. Evan I didn't even know watched it. I <laughs> Yeah, he probably did. Uh question one, Evan. What is your favorite part about Christmas? Uh getting to see my family. Hell yeah. Gang family gang. Uh, question. Dang. Question two. If you were served a three-course meal, which is an entree. Victor, I legit thought you were about to say gang bang. I was about to be like, what the? Fuck? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Group masturbation is canceled due to Carl snitching on the teachers. Absolutely <laughs> 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 not. <laughs> no. <laughs> I beg you. Oh, for you. Don't repeat it. Don't <laughs> fucking repeat it. No. I'm not going to repeat it. Good. Okay. Can, can you type that at me? Because I didn't hear you properly. Hey, wait. I'm going to type that in Discord. If we hear sudden laughter, you know why. Uh, Evan, if you were served a three-course meal, which is, an, uh, which is you know, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert, what would you want for each of those? Not to be confused with your last meal, by the way. Yes, because apparently Jimmy got that confused. I'll have two lemonades. <laughs> what? What, did you, what were you about to do? Oh, oh, I'll have oh, two lemonades. No. 
no, 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 no. <laughs> Number 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 six. six, 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 six and a large soda. Oh, CJ, my dog. dog. What's up? <laughs> and Dank shakes his head uh, grudgingly. Uh, Evan, legit. I'm about to die. My only last wish is that you follow the damn trade, CJ. <laughs> Evan, what is your appetite serve choice? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm not sure. Not sure? Say whatever. Oh, a way I made it easier for myself is not specifically foods you like to eat together. It's just foods in, in that general. category that you like in general. Yeah. I, I honestly don't care. <laughs> just, I mean, that is just, a good option. <laughs> yes, yes, eat some fries. Just eat, eat, eat the garbage can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Eat whatever. I don't just care. Just give me some food and be done with it. Earlier, Pascal did mention he eat the entire fucking glass and all. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Exactly. Very yeah. crunchy. <laughs> oh, very my, crunchy my, my, my mouth is bleeding. Oh shit! My mouth. <laughs> my mouth is bleeding. No, actually, Call nine one one. My mouth. No. Okay, uh, disclaimer, no one ever fucking try this. Of course. Just because one person is immune. But, okay, <laughs> okay, so, disclaimer, so, disclaimer out of the way. On My Strange Addiction, someone actually found a way to safely ingest glass. glass. Yeah. You're kidding. No. Nope, no, someone did it. He's not. Then, no, this, I've seen did, it. And, and I'm not even talking about just well. any fucking glass plane either. But I'm talking about the expensive kinds of glasses. I thought it was the dude who, hey, hey, the, like the. I was thinking a guy who like smashes up like the the light bulbs and eat like the uh, like the thin glass. Wait, no, no, no. I'm talking about like she she eats glass like it's a fucking cuisine. I guess a cuisine. Like, she, yes, like. Ah. Prefers, this, okay, okay. This this. When you mentioned my strange addiction, y'all want to know what I fucking defaulted to? What did you default to? What? <laughs> that one bitch that fucking got addicted to eating her own mattress. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. What comes to mind? What comes to mind with my strange addiction? Not not me as a person, but the uh, show itself. Yes. Now Evan going to gag because I know this is one of his personal dis disapprovals. Uh, but I'm just gonna remove my headphones you? then. <laughs> yeah, please do. <laughs> so there was a my uh, someone text him when it's safe. By the way. My, someone on My Strange Addiction actually fucking eats their own piss diapers. Oh, what? Wait, their own? Yeah, not not like usual baby piss diapers or like any piss diapers in general. Specifically theirs. Oh my. Okay, so I'm not oh another one I haven't God. seen, but also why? Guys, guys, what do you think of it. You guys. actually want to know what came to mind for me? What? There is one I saw, but there's this one chick who got addicted to drinking nail polish. Ugh. There was another chick who got addicted to drinking gasoline. Yes. No, uh, that is yeah. true. no sniffing gasoline. S sniffing Not gasoline. Drinking. No, she was drinking. She specifically Guys. drunk it. Uh -huh. Guys. Wow. Yeah, Guys. what is it, Dank? Fucking, when I heard that, my, my I just went fucking like from this. The... <laughs> you went from sleeping to what the fuck? Is that fucking. That, I sleep. That, I sleep real, real shit. shit. Yeah, that meme. <laughs> but Fucker. yeah, she, she straight up eats her own piss diapers. Uh. Although, on a, on a different note, another video what comes to mind. What the fuck did I just come back to? <laughs> <laughs> I like how you Cherry? Cherry, would you like to repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> and then you came, you stayed away the perfect amount of time for me to tell the story, but then I reiterated the story, and oh, that's when you choose to come no. back. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, oh, fuck. Are you choking or is that COVID? In any case, I hope I, so. I told you it's something that he would visibly gag at. Oh man. In any case, in, in any case, aside from that story, another one that comes to mind is one dude that actually loved his car. Like I know there's people oh, that. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yep, 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 y
<laughs> like they jack off to it, even when they're driving. I'm being, I mean, people jack off the, <laughs> the fucking thought. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. The, 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 only, the only car I'd fuck is Lightning McQueen. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Hey, here's something to ruin your childhood. Do you remember those uh, underage twin cars that... <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I do. I do. Oh yeah, that's a metaphor. That is one hell of a metaphor. That's a metaphor. Wait. Oh no! Yeah. Actually, flashing lightning McQueen. Oh yeah. Now that and I think he, about it, that's, he was into it. That's fucked. That's fucked. <laughs> Let me know. Lightning no, McQueen. Now he got a piece of that ass backstage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 So appetizer, whatever, Evan. What, what would your main course be? Evan already said he didn't give a fuck. Uh, fair enough. Dessert, then. Yeah, that was my... <laughs> what what dessert? But he, said, oh. he said he didn't give a fuck for wait, all of wait. them. That was his whole answer. No, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on a moment. I do have an actual answer for dessert. What is it? Oh, okay. So, have y'all been to Red Lobster? Yeah. No. Nope. No. Nope. But I know what it is. I don't know what it is Dude. as well. Yes. <laughs> Those of you who have actually been there, have you tried their chocolate cake? No, I haven't. But chocolate cake oh was indeed someone's God. favorite. Yeah, I can. Guess. It's, it's I am, I am legitimately disappointed in you, Derek. <laughs> eh, it's not too hard to be. <laughs> oh, 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 oh God. <laughs> uh, fuck. Hey, being the disappointment's my job. <laughs> And being, and being the lack of self-doubter is my job. Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, I'm taking both your jobs. Fuck both of you. All right, well. When and where? Not, uh, ah. pay up, motherfucker. <laughs> pay, <laughs> pay to get <laughs> fucked. I'm yeah. Not, I'm not paying you for prostitution. You're paying me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you better roll for persuasion then, asshole. <laughs> roll for persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> and persuasion, bitch. Dank is sleeping again. So apologies for that. We had some technical difficulties with my audio stop. My audio stopped recording. But basically, we said some suggestive stuff, so I can understand what the audio would want to cut that out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I see my virus is going well at work. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what happens when you roll a D20. <laughs> oh, I get the antivirus again. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, but, uh, let's go to question three then. What- Evan, stop sending Crystal to sabotage our podcast. Uh, what- <laughs> That was a nice laugh. Uh, what weird food combinations do you really enjoy? Um- Evan's about to have something. I'm thinking. Ooh. 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 Um. We can wait. <laughs> we got plenty of time, bitch. We used to wait yeah. for it. We used to wait <laughs> for it. When I was screaming, saying- I used to rule the- <laughs> I'll say, is anyone else going to be talking about the fact that we can't? To be completely honest, I don't have any unpopular. Talk about the fact we kept Derek from doing his quiz for two hours and eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right with that. I'm fine. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna. I mean, he's gonna be able to do his quiz in less than an hour anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dude's intelligent. Yes, my man's smart. My man is indeed smart. Not that we and are not, my, not, not that we're not, my, not that we uh, are not. Ass kiss, ass kissing for the day. Not, and, not. And here's, and here's where Jimmy starts sucking my dick again. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I never said that. Well, well, well. I said I'd go as far as kissing your ass. Well, I never said anything about a blowjob. Hey, we're, we're, so to say, it's not that we're. <laughs> Jerry, we all know you so, wouldn't be opposed to it. It's not that we're, we're, we're all not, we're not smart, right, you know. but we're not dumb. We're not smart, but we're not dumb. I I'm, the say. Smart one, I'm the dumb one here. Oh, you have a pretty big yeah. ego there, yeah. Mr. Derek. <laughs> yeah. so this is a Derek's competition the smart about being dumb. Uh, exactly. Okay, let, let me let me get this straight. Uh, Derek's the smart one. Dink's the drunk one. Victor's the creative one. Uh, Evan is uh, the dumb one. I, I am the <laughs> derpy dumb one. and unlucky one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the der I'm the derpy one, uh -huh. and Pascal is just there. <laughs> he, we need to make these rolls in no, the server. No, 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 no. He, he's the one who has an actual love life. That let's get that straight. 
Um, uh, oh, he does, he does have an actual love life. Congratulations, by the way. Yes. <laughs> um, no, 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 you can, not anymore. You, you, you can still love someone. You've had relationships. That's true. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, what was that again, out? Pascal? Not anymore. Yeah, not. It, it didn't work out? Not entirely. Uh, yeah. but, you, you, but you're on cool terms, right? Yeah. Yeah, good. We are. That, right. That's, that's the kind, important it's part. It's kind of like me and... It, it's kind of like uh, me and T. Like, we, uh... It extremely didn't work out for us, but we're, we're cool now. Yeah, as long as you're on good terms, that's that's the good part. Uh, but the break and, is uh, fucking awful, though. I, I went, mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so Derek had... Let's go back to show and tell, because... Evan pretty much said, uh, I don't have any weird ones. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, so for show and tell, Pascal, you've got anything? Nope. No? Okay. Jimmy, you got anything? My life is boring. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> literally, the, literally the only thing I have to share is that Grandma might be close to death and I got two new games. Yeah, that sounds about right. What? <laughs> Confusion. What, what two new games Confusion did you get? Confusion and laughter. I got South Park, the Stick of Truth, and, and South, South Park, Park the Fucking Buck. Yes, good games. I have never played got, any of those games. I got games. those for a fucking steal, by the way. Stick I don't know of if Truth is really low-key fun, though. Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I said this on the podcast yet, so I'll just say it again. Um, <laughs> the I got the two uh, on a on a like 60, 70 percent off deal. So normally, getting them both. Uh, with Fracture Book Holes Gold Edition that includes all the DLC, yeah, hundred uh, bucks would be would be over a hundred bucks. Over a hundred bucks because of the sale, but but because of the sale, I got it for approximately thirty two dollars. Nice, nice. So awesome. I got that shit for a sale. Very nice. Um, the only thing though, as many people find out the hard way, uh, the fractured button uh, doesn't really work on controllers. Right. It's it's very glitchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's very don't don't get me wrong. You still get the South Park experience. Um, and they also thought of this like for people, for like if the controller glitches out or if people don't have complex motor functions like me, unfortunately. Right. Uh, there is assists to make the game easier to play. Yeah. Mm. I mean, so yeah. That's you want to you want to know what's kind of insulting though? What is insulting though? <laughs> there is. A mini game in, in South Park, the Park of uh, where you have to do complex controller movements or keyboard movements depending on the platform. The shitting um, mini game, he, right? He shit. Yep. I yep, can't even shit. take this shit. I can't even take this shit in South Park because it's too complex for my brain. <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, yeah, that sounds about right. I had to, I had to initiate the mini game assist because the com the movements of the controller to oh, take baby. a hit were too complex for me. <laughs> yeah. And, what, and what's insulting is that what the assist does is basically once you activate it, you just simply press one button and it's like you completed it. <laughs> nice. So. So it's kind of insulting, but at the same time very helpful. Right. Because you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's insulting right. that I can't even take a shit in the game because I can't do complex motor functions. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. So, Dank. My brain physically can't handle it. Yeah. Dank, you have mm. anything else? You have anything for show and tell? Uh, my man's asleep. I, I think, think my man's legit asleep. <laughs> you woke? Is he legit sleeping? He's a gypsy. <laughs> no, there he is. <laughs> there he is. <sighs> Thank you for a second. No, surely not. Yeah. Uh, anything for showing up? <laughs> good. No, I don't good, have anything for fucking. <laughs> good afternoon. <laughs> Dude, I don't have any for anything for the fucking show and tell, and I also. <sighs> and he fell asleep again. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> well, you know what? You know what? <laughs> to pique your interest, I have a few things to say. Well, let's talk about my testicle first. So. uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very suggestive. I know. I know, but it's. Wait, 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 w
just for the I sleep meme, it's like everyone else starts talking. I sleep. Victor brings up his sex goal. Wait, what? Real shit. Real <laughs> shit. I mean, yeah, it is kind of real shit because it was an operation. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But so first ever operation was on my. Uh, I think it, that would be my. Uh, if you if if you looked at me like from the front, that would be my left testicle. For me, that would be my right. Um, if I just look down. So uh, basically, I think ever since I was like three or something, uh, because uh, some because I had some shit doctors, uh, one of my testicles kind of got stuck in my like thigh, in a sort of sense, or like it managed to move itself over there. Um, so uh, basically, uh, hey Victor. Yeah. Hey Victor. What's funny is that. Um, in a in a kind of funny way, I know it was not funny to you during that time. But in a but if you think about it, well, you no, would be partially. Well, no, no, I, I thought it was funny a little bit. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. So if you think about it, because it was in your thigh, you are you were because you got surgery on it to fix it. Right. But you were partially immortal to being kicked in the balls. Uh, Partially. Well, yeah, I I'd still get kicked in one ball, and that shit would f still fucking hurt. Yeah. yeah. That's why I said partially immortal. Yeah, it's not it's not a good it's not a good thought. Uh, <laughs> what was it you wanted to say, Dank? That line that you just said, out of context, fucking kind of sounds like this. Okay, so they walked in. There was barbecue sauce on titties. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my edit. <laughs> yes, because it went ear rape. Uh, <laughs> you all want me to make new edits? <laughs> oh, hell We're yeah. Be getting some more. We're going to be getting some more edits, for sure. Victor, I think you have a lot to work with. I have a lot episode. of content. I have a lot of content, oh, yeah. Right. I have a Google Drive Victor, somewhere. You. <laughs> yeah, you have a Google Drive. Uh, but uh, we love you, Editor V-Sweet. Uh, but, uh... <laughs> sausage? No, but... Sorry, I just <laughs> had a brain... <laughs> I had a brain <laughs> fart. <laughs> So sick. Uh, but, Something uh, about your balls being attached to your thigh. Right. So my my right testicle slipped into my my thigh, uh, not directly there, but like in a sort of sense, it got stuck. And uh, for the most part, it didn't bother me too much in a sort of sense. In the in the long run, it's fucking horrible. But in in the short run, when I'm a when I'm a child, worst worst possible thing that would have happened is that when I like swim or something. Uh, if I swim back, if I swim on my back or try to float, uh, it would slowly, like, a pain down there would slowly, like, swell up until it got extreme to the point where I had to be, like, whoops, back into, like, a straight position in a sort of sense. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, in the long case scenario, it can get as bad as testicular cancer, but cancer because uh, a tumor can build up. So, uh, you know, that's not good. And that's why I got an operation. First ever operation of my life. Was on my fucking testicle. Ain't that lovely? <laughs> so uh, my first operation ever was in my eyes because I was permanently cross-eyed as a baby. Yeah. Oh, you were cross-eyed. And mine was in my on my tonsils. Yeah. I haven't gotten I have my had tonsils no yet. Surgery. Funny, funny thing about Lucky that. Boy. I don't, funny thing about that. I'm pretty sure to this day I still have my tonsils. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, I, I still have my tonsils. Maybe it's maybe it's common to still have them. For my oh. first operation was my wisdom teeth. Yeah, a couple years ago. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it uh, at some point in the past in the Discord. Probably in the Discord, not the podcast. Yeah. Uh, but, but what? <laughs> well, anyway, um, <clears throat> get back to the it story. Was actually, <laughs> actually, that was, or. Er, um, the doc, the doctor at that time picked a, a lot, apparently picked a really good time to actually start that procedure. Right. Because apparently they were set to do some really bad shit in the future. Yeah. To my jaws. Right. Oh, shit. Yeah. Viewers, let it be known that this podcast, uh, Uncut, is so far two hours and 20 minutes long. Yes. Uh, but that doesn't wow. matter. Uh, <laughs> long episodes, very nice. Especially worth it after such a long wait. So, you know what? It's, mm. it's worth it. By uh, the way, I bet you if we made a podcast like South Park did bigger, longer, uncut. Yeah. If we did if we did that with our with just talking, uh the podcast would be twelve hours long. Oh yeah. Wow. For sure. For sure. Uh but what what else was it? Right. So the procedure basically um so they had to cut in. They had to cut like some small hole. I think they cut a small hole 
so on the right side, like down in, in the region where you use movie, they had to cut in an air to the, a little bit so that they could like see what the situation is basically. And apparently it was really bad. So uh, they had to um, they had to drag the ball back down uh, into into the sack. Um, and to do that, and to do that, they had to make a, a tiny incision on my ball sack. I think to the to the side a little bit. So that's a bit strange. It's it's starting to heal well actually, but um, so they had to do that and uh, kind of. Don't get hit in the balls because uh, that incision is gonna make the pain even worse. Right. Yeah, but it's gonna it's gonna heal eventually, like fully. But uh, so, yeah. Now I have two testicles. One is slightly <laughs> higher up, uh, but it's it's there. And after, I, and, I and think it's actually going to be like my, what happens because I'm uncomfortable by talking about this. Yeah. And uh, I woke up and I had a I, I got a bag of ships, so that's nice. Hmm. Yeah. Nice. So I had, I had to nice. Make, yeah, and I had to make sure that I could pee before I left, which I had a bit of trouble doing, but after a little while it did. Uh, so I went home and I had to stay home for a bit, um, and that's kind of I think that was kind of the main reason I kind of had to delay the podcast a little bit, uh, just to kind of rest. And, uh, right. yeah, cause, cause at, cause at, cause at time, cause at times it got, uh, really, really like, uh, painful. Um, I don't know what you were about to say, Jimmy, but I'm scared. <laughs> I I'm, said, I said I'm especially story scared because of what the caption brought up. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, can you say I said, it? I said, with this, with this story about testicles, it reminds me when I got surgery on my dick. Right. What, what did you, what surgery Are did you really? Have? Yeah. What did you have to do? It was back when I was in elementary school. Mm -hmm. um, I started noticing that it was either elementary or middle, one of those. Right. I started noticing that my pee was burning every time I did Oy. it. Oh, yeah. clap. The clap. So, so when I told grandma, uh, we, I was taken to the hospital and now I was asleep during this. Don't worry. Right. Thank God. Oh yeah. But they make, they had to make an actual, so in order for it to stop burning like that, I, I don't know what the cause was, but in order to make it stop burning like that, they had to make an, inc they had to make an incision in my urethra. Uh, 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 not the pee hole. Uh, not the pee hole. <laughs> uh, uh, that's uh, so, as... Now my urethra is slightly so now my urethra is slightly bigger than normal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man! Oh, oh no. because you know it has a downward incision. So. Right, right. Oh man. Right. Oh yeah, that that makes, that gives me tingles. Oh no. <laughs> Yikes. But af but when I woke up after the surgery, I couldn't pee for like two or three days straight. <laughs> two and... or three days. And I was also puking like for an hour or two. After yeah, that. that's really fucking bad. <laughs> oh god. But the, the the I couldn't pee for two or three days straight wasn't because of the fact that you know it would hurt specifically. It's because I was terrified too. You <laughs> you can't hold that shit in. You you fucking that's dangerous, bro. I mean, what? I can't blame him. No, no, of course not. But fuck. So in order to get me to so, so like on the third day when I woke up this morning, I literally told grandma, grandma, I have to pee. I literally have to pee right now. <laughs> but I could not, I could not hold it anymore. Yeah. So what they had, so what she had to do was, was set me down in the bathtub and constantly pour water on me until I finally pissed. Wow. <laughs> right. I kind of had to do a similar thing when I was trying to piss. I, cause Cause it was like I don't know what it was, but I got like a like a bag, like a hot bag or something to put near like the region where the urethra would be, just to kind of help it come through in a sort of sense. <laughs> Derek is about to crack. Uh, now my dick feels uncomfortable <laughs> hearing this. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> I like I like how Dank I like how Dank is just looking at his phone like what. <laughs> Oh man! But Victor, I just realized you have a story about your balls, and I have a story about my dick. Yeah, together. <laughs> like dick and balls. Together we make one. Fuck <laughs> and ball torture. Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at wikipedia and dot org. Yes. Stop jerking your bottle, thank you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Wag the ball. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell! And then uh, here's here's a more lighthearted story. Um, so, Mike. Here, so real quick though, real quick, real. Can I just say something real quick? Yeah. 
inventors out there, don't you ever invent a game called Whack the Balls. Uh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that actually that exists. Already yeah, I'm exists. pretty sure that already exists. That already exists. Have you? Oh, no. Well, people have you heard of Rule 34. If it you... exists, there's porn of it. No, oh, saying... my God. Shut up. <laughs> have you heard of fucking Nutball? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, like, yes, actually, uh, specifically from Unis Honest. Yes. Hashtag stop the clock. No, no, no. No, no, no. You don't get it. You don't get Unis Honest. Uh, why did you have to mute, Jim? I think you had to go take a piss. Uh, maybe. Uh, oh, here we go. <clears throat> piss again. Yeah, 30, 30 second piss. Uh, His dick is like a sniper rifle for him, like... What? <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! Nice! Pascal, repeat that right this minute. <laughs> His dick is Call like a sniper, sniper rifle. rifle. That's how fast it is at peeing. <laughs> it's a whizzing bullet. Zoom! All right, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, did I have a bigger urethra? Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. So, lighthearted story. Uh, so, our class is selling. Uh, we're, we're challenge pissing. No, we're trying to. We're trying to. <laughs> no, stop. Can I? Can I tell my story? So, our class. Fuck is... you, Baltimore. What the fuck have you done in Baltimore, apparently? And now I will tie you to a catapult <laughs> and launch you directly into a train if you don't shut the fuck up right now. Fuck you, Baltimore! Your, I will put a grain of sand in your roof <laughs> every day until you succumb to the desert. <laughs> I have already succumbed to the desert, bitch. Multiple times. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get to my story. So our class is uh, trying to we're we're collecting money to go on a skiing trip together, and to do that yeah, we've been talking so long that I think Grandma just got home. Oh really? So uh, uh, oh. so basically, uh, I think yeah, this was like last month, like last weekend. Uh, we had a we had like a uh, what was it called? We we have a we have a thing in Sweden where you you basically go on walks that also have quizzes along the way, uh, like a quiz walk in a sort of sense, but it's like Christmas themed. Uh, so like a scavenger or something. So like a what? A scavenger hunt. Uh, yeah, a scavenger hunt. Yeah. A scavenger hunt, but like along a scavenger along, hunt. A, a scavenger hunt along, but along the way there's like questions rather than treasure. Scavenger although, although hunt. You can you can win prizes. And shit like that. Mm. And uh, since it was Christmas themed, they wanted me to uh, play Santa, Santa Claus. So uh, <laughs> I saw that on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, you did. I saw that on Discord. Yeah, so I got dressed up as Santa, and it was fun. It was really fun. Nice. Uh, and <laughs> uh, you look good as Santa. Yeah, thank you. Uh, a lot of yeah, ho, we, ho, we're, ho, yeah, ho ho ho, bitches. We had to get get <laughs> very well dressed up and. Uh, so how how this was structured was that first people who were uh, uh, people who were uh, in in like uh, the risk of who are at the people who are at the most risk of uh, COVID nineteen like elderly people and stuff they had they they could go first and then after that uh, people who weren't in that risk in that like uh, group, high risk yeah that high risk group um, they went after uh, right. so uh, yeah. So basically, old people, old people really liked it. A lot of the adults uh, really liked it. There were some children who were like, "Oh yes, we like this," and some who cried <laughs> at the side of me were like, well, "Was like too scared to talk to Santa." Like, no, no, just trying to hide behind their parents. <laughs> I thought it was really funny, and I had to play the role of Santa, so that was also fun. Hey, hey, Victor, at least be glad you were the one who played the role of Santa and not some o other older guy. Otherwise, they'd look like a pedophile. Right, right. Right, but there was like, there was like no, like the oldest people that were there. That's that, literally mall Santas over here. Yeah. <laughs> literally every I mean, year. I mean, basically the entire, like, the entire thing was made with the help of uh, the entire class and a few parents, basically. So, uh, of course, it had to be a classmate who had to be Santa. And right. that was, and they, they just randomly shows me and I'm just like, oh, hell yeah, why not? Because uh, <laughs> I thought that would be, it would be fun for the podcast. That's why I did it. Uh, nice. There, there was, content. Yeah, content. Plus, there, there, plus, you can basically say ho, 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 bitch. I, I didn't say ho, 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 bitch. 
I did not. <laughs> Otto, otherwise, I would have got. Ho, 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 motherfucker. I would have got. I would have gotten. I, I would have not say that. I, I did not. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Oh hi Mark. oh, hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. God! <laughs> <laughs> the Room is a wonderful movie. I have never no, seen no, it. It's, it's you bad, haven't seen it. You it's haven't. Wonderful. It's, it's, it's it, a wonderful. It's a good kind of bad. It's a good kind of bad. It, and you haven't seen The it's Room? It's so bad, it's good. Yeah. I have not seen The Room. That's a fucking crime. You have to watch The Room. Okay, give me a second. It's available on Disney? fucking archive.org. Legit. Wait. I think so, at least. I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> Probably not. But, uh... Is it not on Netflix? Still on no! The podcast. Of course it's not fucking Netflix. Uh... Yep, we are still podcasting. We're still podcasting. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good lingo. What? Well, I am a blind girl. That's not what he said. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 I what? Said, ah. I'm talking about why he said give you a blind girl. That's not what he said. What? That's not what I said. What? Ooh. That's not what I said. What did you think he said? Thank you, what I thought he said. I went, well, why is that going to do him any good? And then I thought, <laughs> this is not what I said, though. That is not at all what he said. That might work, though. <laughs> <laughs> that might work, though. Might work, though. That might work, though. Oh, no. Yes, they do. I got garlic all over here by my chair, baby. Well, it's a good thing that I left the bag, um, in case there was more garbage somewhere. Garbage day. <laughs> it's garbage day. Derek's <laughs> fucking so so you did uh, plan to get me some food. Yeah, some chicken fingers, and I figured you could cook rice for me. Oh, right. sounds Ooh. like Zach's night right there. The nuts. Chicken tendies, real. <laughs> I love Wendy's fries. He's licking his lips. He's checking yes. it twice. Five minutes left on his fried. Y'all shut up, like this is the What'd you say? Jake, why are you drinking piss? Shut the fuck up, you German cunt! Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't he say already it was fun? Chris <laughs> 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 comedy is our best comedy. Yes. I mean, Vic, that's Victor's favorite word in the past. Was it? Yeah, Victor, you don't remember. He doesn't do it as much anymore, but in the past, he always said cunt. Did I really? Mm. Yeah, you did, Victor. Like, uh. Especially, especially in Move or Die. Like that was the oh, Vic, Grandma hung up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway, so uh, Wait, he's licking his lips. There, not there. No, not there, Evan. But, Pascal, I bet you it was this thing earlier. That's you you literally just pissed in that bowl. It's not piss. It's a fucking meal. I don't care. Shut up. Okay. Evan, can what, I, what the fuck were you singing? <laughs> can, you can I get back to my story, please, man? Can I ask my question? <laughs> Hold on. All, all of you, shut up. I need to say something. I need to be your beat, okay? Okay. <laughs> I, I need to be your beat so that I can get groceries for Grandma and also so she can get me some food. All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, see you soon, no. maybe, if the podcast doesn't end early. <laughs> oh, dang, I was talking so much, I didn't even remember what I was going to look up. <laughs> All right. Probably rule 34. No. <laughs> Ask, I'll check the Discord. Uh, okay, uh -huh. anyways. That's uh, what I was singing. Anyways, I, uh, so, I, I'm, there, there was one instance where there was one child who saw right through my disguise. <laughs> not in the sense of, like, they knew who I was, but, like, you know, you're not Santa. And, like, some shit like that. I can't remember the exact dialogue, but it was, like, it was, like, Santa would have been fatter. That was one of the things, and I'm just, like, oh, just wait until December 24th. <sighs> just you wait. I'm only getting started. <laughs> some shit like that. Oh, my God.
Oh, I have yeah. I have some more. Yeah. I have, I have some more porridge to that eat. I just mean Santa's a Hollywood <laughs> actor. Anyway, I'm going to I'm I'm not going to use the bathroom. I'm going to be RB. Yes. All right. Yeah, bas basically, I don't have enough. Uh, guess you wait until I eat, like, five liters of porridge. Uh, Which is a lot of porridge. This podcast is home of challenge pissing. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> no, no. We, we, no. If, if that was the case, no. If that was no. the case, Jimmy would no. win first place every single fucking time. <laughs> That's what I mean in his fucking sniper dick. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it. Shut it. Can we Barrett. not, please? Oh, Intervention. Oh, ACOG. Shut the... ACOG. Uh, ACOG, I... not ACOG. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fucking... Sorry. Uh, I think that that's pretty much all I had to say. Any any other comments? Uh, I already got my opinion. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Co -co a couple now. weeks ago, I involuntary, involuntarily joined the Kyle gang. The Kyle gang? Why? Ew, disgusting. What a fucking cunt. What the fuck is the Kyle gang? I don't know, he drinks monsters. monsters like 24 7. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That you did say. Monster edition. What, what, what was your first ever monster, my, my dear? Uh, White Claw. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's very much what Dank is drinking right now. Okay. Or fucking whatever it was, Zero Ultra. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I think I like the white. That was, the, that was the thing on the can. Yeah. Uh, I think if, if that's if that's uh, I think that's about it. Okay, and uh, Dank is just asleep. Uh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, we love you, Editor V. Sweet. We love you, Editor V. Sweet. Are you awake Ugh. now, Mr. Man? That sounds like a painful wake up. Oh, shut up. And uh, that was someone beating their meat. Donk! Are you okay? <laughs> uh, no, like no, he, 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 he's not okay. He's fucking, he's almost tipsy as all hell. You, you drunk, bro? You drunk? Nope, I am not drunk. Wow. Hmm. I like it cut. I, I feel like you're drinking an alcohol free like beverage right now. I don't know why. Here, maybe this'll help. Oh. He gave you a fucking what is that? It's a white claw. Nice. Apparently. Yeah. <clears throat> Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Oh uh I think we're gonna end the podcast there. Let's head out of this room and actually do our outro. So I'll open yep, this yes, door. Yes, I'll I'll open the door here and uh Oh, Everyone has passed out out here. That may, is that why it was so quiet. Uh, yeah, oh, I shit. have to go I ahead and undo that. Out. You know, it was me. You knocked every single Wait, fucking person out. And with that bar fight, I meant a fucking bar fight. Fuck. You said it was a. You said it was a little fight. bar fight. Let's clarify that. Everyone is like, like that dude's fucking dead. His skull is cracked. You fucking murdered what? a guy. Okay, that one was my fault. <laughs> oh, yeah, fucking... that was his fault. Okay. Nobody Opening will find the body. Okay. Human sacrifice. Fucking, there are people outside just looking in. Fucking, someone's called the cops, bro. No oh. witnesses. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, day two. okay we're okay. We're we're getting oh. the fuck out of here. Okay. So, uh, thank you for, uh, Wait. thank you for, uh, uh, we're, we're running to the car, Evan. No, no buts, no ifs, we're running. Uh, so, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for, thank you for, thank you for, thank you for, thank you for watching episode and listening to episode eight of Imbecile Conversations. We have to get the fuck out of here. Uh, you've been joined here by Derek, Pascal, uh, Evan, a little late then. Expected, but whatever. We have uh, Jimmy as well and Dank, and we have to fucking go. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Right. Now, let's let's get the fuck out. Oh shit! Oh shit! I hear the sirens. Uh, goodbye. Let's get the fuck out of here. Work. I'll see you all next time.